Members, during the course of these intense discussions, both here and outside this chamber, there has been one statement that has been repeated and it needs to be addressed. And that statement is that politicians make poor physicians. So I want to be clear. As I stand before you tonight, I stand as a woman, I stand as a mother, I stand as a physician. And as a physician, I took an oath. That oath is a duty. It is a duty to first do no harm, and it is a duty to protect each and every life. Each and every life. That is exactly what Senate Bill 20 does. And that is exactly why the only two physicians in the entire North Carolina General Assembly are supporting Senate Bill 20. We voted yes on this bill and we will vote to override the veto. Senate Bill 20 makes medical sense, and Senate Bill 20 is common sense. It balances protecting the life of the unborn child. It balances that with a woman's need for life-saving care. And importantly, it protects the integrity of the doctor-patient relationship. It protects the... Audience members should either stay silent or leave. The lady continues to have the floor. So I will repeat that statement. This bill protects the integrity of the doctor-patient relationship. This bill represents consensus position of North Carolina citizens, the vast majority of whom support limitations to abortion after 12 weeks. And extremely importantly, this bill provides resources for the pregnant woman. It provides broad resources and a significant knowledge base to enable her to equip her in finding a path forward, a path forward for her, and a path forward for her unborn child. As a woman, as a mother, as a physician, and as a legislator, I am proud to support Senate Bill 20 with a vote to override the veto, and I urge you to join me in doing so. Thank you.